watching my tea leaf battery over the last couple of weeks and you, you, you probably know that I made it out of tetra packs okay and then you saw my resistor and the tea leaf battery one and tea leaf battery two this is the, the broken resistor which is now a duty cycler or a capacitor I haven't tested it properly it's, it's got to be a duty cycler or a capacitor I will test it eventually I'm going to use it as a duty cycler or as a capacitor because that was my idea of making it I made it into a duty cycler and I've got it now. Hopefully it's a duty cycler, but it might be a capacitor. Hopefully it's a duty cycler. But I'll test it and I'll get that working, I'm gonna trim that up. But now I'm making a hall effect. So I'm gonna I've got I'm cutting these up at the moment. Alright. And I know they look like Nazi signs, but that's what hall effect's like, yeah. Basically the current flowing through one way. And then you apply a magnet to it in the opposite direction, and then the you get a, you get like a so let me just get it so you get the current flowing from the top to the bottom, let's say, and then I put a magnet opposing the flow of the uh, current, and then I'll get a current going the opposite way. I'll get a positive and negative off the opposite way for no apparent reason whatsoever. So obviously I've got off some kind of Benedi wheel or something like that on it, like yeah. But I'm going to make a hall effect now as well out of a tetra pack so it's going to be tetra pack all effect and tea leaf batteries right so this morning I'm getting a problem with my circuitry somewhere I've got a problem with my circuitry somewhere but these are the readings I'm getting off I'm not exactly the same I'm getting up towards a tenth of a volt now that's nearly a tenth of a volt through a resistor like that which is like basically a short circuit just, just slightly better than a short circuit <laughs> I can't, it's 200 milliamps so yeah, well, I'll we'll have to there we go, I'm getting up to, that's it I've got a tenth of a volt now it's still rising, I don't know how I'm getting a tenth of a volt through all that so I've got the battery I've got the wire coming down the back, coming out of the out of there, and I've got the wire coming through there, and it's uh, well, what about that? that's that's not some kind of secret thing. And I've got the wire going up through there, and I've got the wire going into the amp meter, and the wire's coming down the amp meter down here, like yeah, coming up here, 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 into the amp meter, into the two connections where it's supposed to be, and then coming back out of the amp meter. In that red, 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 red wire up there, red wire up there, and that is bridging the circuit. That's the red wires there, bridging the circuit from from the edge of this, which would be connected to that. That's going back in there, back in there, back in there, back in there, all the way through the resistor, through the white wire, into the red wire, which goes underneath the meters, as you can see. And it comes out to the side and goes into the battery and starts there, and then then goes all the way down the battery, all the way down the battery, all the way down the battery, and back into that green wire again, so it's uh, 2000 M DC voltage. Uh, I've got no amp rises yet, but I'm definitely getting a voltage rise, I don't know, how am I getting a voltage rise, it's a short circuit. Over there. So, and now it's going up towards two tenths of a volt now. This was effectively an integrationist charge. I don't know what's going on. I've got two tenths, two tenths of a volt now. It's, oh no, now it's dropped down to... suddenly dropped down. Look, it's, it's dropped right down here. I ain't got a fucking clue what's going on. There's something there's something not right going on here. Like, I'm knacking the resistor. I'm going to have to make a new one. Um, so that's what's happening this morning. I'm back down to what I had the other day now. 0.8. And it's going back up again now. It's all over the shop, isn't it? So I think I've, I think I've cut that resistor. I think I've made that resistor into some sort of capacitor. I think you could say capacitor. So it's just releasing voltage every now and again. So maybe it's even maybe 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 we've made it into a duty cycler. Maybe it's even duty cycling. It's, it's down to 0 0.3 now. 0 0.3 and 3. So maybe, maybe it's even duty cycler. I don't know what it's doing at the moment. Like yeah, I can't even get a reading off the oscilloscope. But that's what's happening this morning. 
with Mitting, Mitting Leaf battery. battery. Again, we're looking at the battery, and this is the uh, anode, this is the cathode, and this is the homemade resistor that I've made. Of this one, like I showed you this morning, it isn't working correctly. So, like I said, this is the battery, this is all my gubbins. This is the old resistor which was playing up, which is still draining the battery hopefully, I'm going to test it in a second. And this is the new resistor that I've just made. And this one here, it's got a paper backing on it. I've left the paper on this one here, just to make it better, and it's, it's at 0 0.4 ohms. And the old one is actually sitting there at 0 0.8 ohms. It did start off at 0 0.3, oh, it's great. and I'll move it, uh, it's just all over the shop now. It's knackered, mate. It goes open circuit and everything. Even when open, did you see it go open circuit? It's knackered. So that one's burnt out. I've burnt that resistor out basically. It just, it just ain't settling. It won't settle at all. The other one I was twisting all over the place and it just stays exactly the same. So that resistor's burnt out now.